Hello YouTube, this is Markeisha. I'm coming to you with a video of a project that I just finished. Um, this is a U-Prop wig that I made for Miss Maya Castellano here on YouTube. Um, it's synthetic, high heat, resistant fiber. Um, I forgot the brand of the hair, but um, I think the color of it is a DDR something 99, DDRJ 99 something, <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm going to show you basically what it looks like. It's a, I believe it was called an ocean wave, so it's pretty curly. Um, right now I'm just going to show you what it looks like on the mannequin. And the hairline. Tried to make it, um, you know, even though it's just a small section, um, because it's a U-part wig, except um, I made the closure to go on the wig. Um, everything is handmade too. Um, I hand sewed the tracks. I ventilated the closure piece. Um, tried to make it look as natural as possible. Um, right now I'm just doing the little parting. I couldn't find a comb. So I'm using my fingers just so you guys can get an idea of um, what it's looking like. This tripod isn't cooperating very well. <laughs> so here's a little parting space. Try to get it look as natural as possible. And you can put the tripod acting up. Once again, using my fingers. This freestyle parting along the closure piece. Excuse me, so she can, if she chooses to have things, she can part it wherever she wants to. Hey Maya, hope you're watching. This is your wig, honey. So hopefully she she likes it. Um, yeah, I'm just running my fingers through it, playing with it. Um, so um, everything, like I said, is handmade. Um, I sewed each, hand sewed each um, track onto the base, onto the foundation, and um, you'll see in a moment as I um, take the wig off of the, um, the mannequin head, the inside, and I forgot to remove the plastic before I started. Um, recording this video so um you'll watch me messing around with that um and then um yeah once i stop playing with this hair you guys will figure out uh <laughs> what the inside looks like i didn't realize i was playing with it too much and this is early in the morning i was uh still on the clock I, um, I'm a full-time direct support professional, which is a caregiver out here, um, for developmentally disabled adults, so pretty much 24-7, um, taking care of, uh, intellectually challenged adults. And there's the inside of the cap, and there you go with the plastic that I forgot to remove because I really wanted you to see the cap, but I'm gonna tear off a piece. As I was tearing the plastic, I was scared I was gonna rip my uh, threading, but it, it came off pretty easily once I got the plastic off. But um, I want you guys to see, you know, how, um, how it looked. So I'm gonna rip a little piece off eventually um, so you can see how the tracks 
army in fact lay. So I'll let you guys see that. And there it is. The spacing of the tracks. It is um a stretchable foundation. It has adjustable straps, um, which I believe I forget to show. But it is adjustable straps. I was talking a lot, but um, I talked over it because I was just doing all kind of crazy talking. I wasn't really talked a little bit about the wig, but then I was still dealing with uh, my clients, so you hear a lot of extra talking, so I had to narrate over it. <laughs> but again, here goes the wig on the mannequin. Try to do the hairline transition as natural as possible. That's why I keep showing it and showing the parting space. And then I believe this is it. Here's some pictures of what I made one exactly like that for my mom, and I was trying it on. So here's some pictures of what it may look like on her, but it may be a little different. The same uh, type of hair was used, um, just a different cap, and so it was sold a different way. But this was hand made by me as well, hand ventilated for the closure. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Remember, comment, rate, subscribe. I'll put everything in the information box below. Bye bye.